it's Samia here. Today we're going to be learning how to download different font types for you to be able to use on software um, such as Photoshop. The website we're going to be using is pretty simple to remember. Just remember it, thefont.com. As you can see, I've been using it quite a bit. Go ahead and go to the website and once you're here, you will see there is a plethora of different types of fonts. You have fancy fonts, you have a foreign look font um, selection, you've got different um, genres, I could say, of fonts, and then you have the good old holiday fonts. So if you're creating any sort of um, uh, welcome card or an invitation card, you are probably going to be looking in this area. If you were just looking for random fonts, then you can select anywhere between A through Z. Or you can select your numbers over here. Um, we'll just go ahead and show you an example. These are the fonts which start with the letter M. And as you can see, there are 135 pages of fonts that start with the letter M. But today, we are going to be working specifically on a football jersey. <clears throat> so I went ahead and created the draft jersey um, and I went ahead and uh, put in the last name, the jersey number, the team name, and the team mascot right over here. Um, what we are going to be doing is making this look more realistic and more like the jerseys that we are familiar to seeing. So, we are going to be working in this column over here, specifically with old school. As you can see over here, these are more so the fonts that we see on a college jersey, or an NFL jersey for that matter as well. We will be working with, let's see, we're going to be working with university today. This is the font that we're going to be using. Remember the font name. This right here, if you can see, is the author. And this right here is the name. So it's University by Jeronimo Font Studios. The cool part about this website is that a majority, if not all, of these fonts are available to us at no cost. As you can see over here, it says free for personal use. We're able to use it for whatever we'd like. If we would like to support the author, there is a um, link over here that you can donate to the author. But for today, we're just going to go ahead and download the font. And all you do is select download. As you can see, it has downloaded. You go ahead and double click on there. And you make sure that it says regular. So you'll pull down on this menu just to confirm that it says regular. Now let's just remember that the font name is called University. We go ahead and install the font and it brings us to this page automatically. This is where we remember what the font name was. As you can see these are various different fonts that I have downloaded for my personal use, specifically for work and for school. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down to this font, University, which we have been using. And that's it. So we're going to go to our Photoshop page. Make sure that the type tool is selected. Highlight the font that we'd like to be changed. And we go ahead and type in University. So we can see this is a sample that's provided to us. I'll just go ahead and change all the font before making any more adjustments. Save over here in my history. Oops. Now, this will be the real test. We're going to see if numbers are included in this font. If not, no problem. We can just use another font that looks similar to jersey type. Oh, we got lucky. It is provided. I'm not sure I like this number font too much, so I'm going to go ahead and select my personal favorite jersey font which is varsity. 
So we'll go ahead and make the adjustments. I'll go ahead and select the layer. Always remember, just a side note, whenever you're adjusting the size of the font using these um, using these transform controls, always, always, always select the shift key prior to adjusting the trans using the transform controls. I'll go ahead and select the number, make that a little bit larger. It's starting to look wonderful already. And I'll select the Peter's layer and adjust that as well. Going back to the shift control, what that does is it adjusts the entire shape without distorting um, distorting the image itself. And there we go. That is how we use different font types.